We are presenting three patients showing characteristic symptoms of stuporous catatonia. These patients have been hospitalized from 5 to 15 years and their stupor is not as complete as it was during the acute stages of their illness. The behavior and attitude of these patients, however, has not changed for several years. The leading symptom is immobility and lack of activity. Most of the time they seem to be oblivious of their environment. Their faces are fixed and changes of expression, if they occur, are usually due to fantasies or voices which they hear in hallucinations. Other typical symptoms of this condition are negativism, mutism, waxy flexibility, automatic obedience. We will show you these patients first for some time without stimulating them directly other than by the camera and lights. No. Hello, Tommy. How are you? How are you? Have you had your lunch, Tommy? Hello, Walter. How are you today? How are you, Walter? Don't you feel like talking? You know me, Walter, don't you? How are you today? Get up, please. Turn around. Turn around the other way, please. Again, turn once more. Will you turn once more? All around and then sit down. Fine. Thank you. How are you, Nathan? Right. Have you had your lunch? Yeah. What was it? What did you have for lunch? Will you look at me? Look up at me. Look at me. Oh Nathan, you know me. Just look at me. Let's shake hands. No, shake hands, really. Shake hands. What is so funny? What is so funny?
Thank you very much. Goodbye. like talking? How are you, Tony? Not bad. Okay. How are you, Walter? How are you? Well, Tommy told me he's not feeling so bad. How are you? You don't feel like talking? Good day, Nathan. How are you? How are you? Will you shake hands with me? No, come on, shake hands. A real handshake. Shake hands with me. Will you look at me? Nathan. Won't you look at me? Come on, look at me. Look at me, Nathan. You know me. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Though these patients seem to be almost totally oblivious of their environment, in this case surrounded by strange lights and cameras, it is almost certain 
that they were perceiving what was going on around them. 